to make an old-fashioned pound cake. I'm so excited. You know, because I'm Chef Key and I do this. I do this. Yeah, this is <laughs> cake, y'all. A real cake. Yes. And uh, we're gonna show you guys. She's gonna walk me through step by step. So stay tuned. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do is pour your sugar into that bowl. That's a pound of sugar, powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Okay. And then flour. No, we're not doing flour yet. You're gonna do your butter. So open your butter. That's four sticks of butter. That's a pound. Oh. You can put it in there with your sugar. And it softens butter. You can't use cold butter. It needs to be soft. Now you're going to take your fork and you're going to cream your butter and your sugar together so it's all mixed together and it's creamy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just mash it off. Just keep on kind of work it through. Like go under and over so you can pull your sugar in there. And it'll start getting softer actually when the sugar starts mixing. sugar up so you can mash it together and scrape the side of the bowl and just keep kind of mashing in like that okay. and then we're going to add some eggs and that'll make it even easier okay like i like how you make it look all easy this one's always scrape your sides because you don't lose on your sugar that's your flavor so always scrape
So you can pause right there, just leave your fork on the side. Okay, so once you get your egg, you're gonna crack your eggs, but I want you to crack them one at a time into that cup to make sure you don't get any shells. And these are also room temperature eggs. Whenever you bake, you want all your ingredients to be room temperature. Okay, pour it in there. So do all six? Mm-hmm. And you just do it, you make sure you don't have any shells and you also make sure you don't have a bad egg. Because oh. if you have a bad egg, the egg just will, when you crack it open, the yolk will just spread all out in the bottom and it's not a good egg. Bad eggs are real water. Now you're gonna measure your flour. We need to pound the flour so you know we have to spill it in the cup. She was like, go get some flour and some sugar and some get the butter. And I was like, okay. And I thought she was gonna get up. She didn't get up. She started telling me what to do. And so she told me how to make this pound cake. And so I did what she said, put it in the oven and baked it. And then she would sit there when it got cooked on the oven, she liked hot pound cake. And she had me cut her piece of pound cake and get her some butter. And she would spread butter on that hot pound cake and she'd eat it. And then she'd pull, put the rest of the cake in her car. And so when my granny came home, she'd go home. And granny knew, never knew that we were making cakes. I made a cake every 
time she washed me. So if she washed me twice a week, I made two pound cakes a week. And I was like 20 something years old when I was just talking to my granny one day and I was telling her, you know, that, yep, looks pretty good, a little bit more. Like scrape your sides down, pull everything down into the bottom. And, you know, I was like, you know, you remember used to have me make cakes all the time. She taught me to make pound cakes. She was like, I used to wonder what was happening to all my flour and stuff. <laughs> and I never saw anything made. And I just couldn't figure it out. I thought she was playing with those Barbie dolls. <laughs> so my granddad always used flour and butter and sugar with my dolls. She didn't know what I was doing with the dolls, but I was using a lot of flour and butter and sugar and eggs. <laughs> Did you get a whooping for you and flour butter? Her sister had me. No, she never said a word. She never said anything because her sister was with me. So she just didn't know what we were doing. She knew it wasn't any food made, you know. But she never did know what we were doing. My mom, um, when I was two years old, sat me on the counter next to the stove for her and showed me how to scramble eggs. And we made scrambled eggs. Yeah, so she sat me on the counter next to the stove and um, showed me how to scramble eggs. Like I sat there and I beat the eggs up and put them in the skillet and she showed me how to stir it and get my scrambled eggs. And then the next day, no, my grandmother, my grandmother did that. The next day, my mom sat me on the counter, had me scramble the eggs, and then she added some milk and some vanilla and some cinnamon to it, and we got the loaf of bread, and she taught me how to make French toast out of those scrambled eggs. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the way I learned how to make French toast, that was a mistake. It was a mistake. Maybe yeah. um, <laughs> well, that's a story time. <laughs> we need a spoon, because we left the spoons in the car, and that's what we Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. So you're gonna put in a tablespoon of vanilla and it back at your thing. There you go. Now leave your fork in there because you're gonna have to mix it up. Just pour yourself a tablespoon of vanilla in there. Mm-hmm. And pour it in. Okay. Now did you want to get fancy and put some brittle in it? Yeah, all right. So we're gonna be fancy and we're gonna kick up the old fashioned cake and we're gonna put some Heath toffee in there. Stir that in your flavor all through. Y'all cream? Okay. So here's a trick that I use, because we need to oil the pan. You take your packet, and you're gonna rub that all on the inside of your pan. Bottom and sides. Cover it. All right, take your flour, and I just want you to reach in there with your hands, and just pinch out a little bit of flour, and put it in here. A little bit more. Okay, now you're 
Turn it over and tap it so all the extra is dumped out into there. Push the button so it stops. Mm -hmm. Now this screw is just going to get it out. Okay. Okay, so you, you can dump it on your knee too. Well, you know, I dump it on the counter, but we're not in a house, we're in a hotel, so that'd be really, really loud. But yeah, so this you can put in your oven. On the top shelf, all the way to the middle. Middle. There you go. And this is going to bake. The way you figure out if it's good, I'm just gonna touch the top and see if the balance is there. Okay. Yeah. You can see if you have some little children that like to lick the bowl though. What is it? Hmm? The egg. It's pasteurized egg. Oh. Little? Do y'all? Yeah. What y'all like? <laughs> Beautiful, and they said, oh, My pound cake, Isaac. No, not Isaac. Mixture. 
I'm going to leave her link in the description box below. I really appreciate you doing this well. for me. Like, I'm a and chef. And what's the recipe? <laughs> a pound of everything. What's everything? Eggs, flour, powdered sugar, butter. Um, That's your pound. That's it. And then and a then teaspoon of vanilla. vanilla and Excellent. Oh, yeah, a tablespoon of vanilla. And if you want to add something else, you can. Yes, put toffee. Yeah, put toffee now. 
and you cook it for 350 degrees for 35 minutes. 35 to 40 minutes oh, yeah. just until it's done. I'm just gonna check it. And it has to bounce back when you touch it. That girl good enough. Okay. That does cameras. <laughs> thank you so much. You are welcome. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out her channel and subscribe. Yes. In the description box below, check out her and her beautiful children and her amazing recipes. If she can help me cook, you guys might need help too. Because <laughs> I, I, I know how to make pound cake. Right. And see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Sure. Bye. 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 <laughs>